Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can add multiple OneDrive accounts on your PC. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop, on my computer. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open the file explorer. If you don't find it here in your desktop, just go to the start menu and then just type it right here, then click on open. And then once you do that, here in the left, you're going to find all of the sections. Right here, you're going to find Home, Gallery, and here you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and right-click on OneDrive, and then here you're going to find all of these options. Here you can copy it, expand it, open it in a new tab, open in a new window, pin to quick access, pin to start, and so on. Here you're going to find Always Keep on this device, free up space, and lastly here you're going to find OneDrive. Go ahead and click on OneDrive, and then here you're going to find View Online, settings and lastly right here you're going to find folder color go ahead and click on settings and then right here as you can see guys in the left you're going to find sync and backup account notifications and lastly about so basically guys right now if you want to add an, an another account go to accounts and then right here next to your actual account you're going to find the option to add an another account click on add an account and then this window will be open so just add your email address right here. And if it's correct, go ahead and click on sign in. Then go to the next step to add your password and so on. And then you're going to be able to add your account. After you add your account, make sure you link it to this PC if you want to sync your documents with the account. After that, go to sync and backup. And then here you're going to find backup important PC folders to OneDrive. Click on manage backup and then enable backup for all of these options. And once you finish, go ahead and click on save changes. And then you're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.